Okay, tractor haul part one conclusion. What do the machines need? This is the better of the two machines. All four tires are holding air. The engine will run. It will need the carburetor gone through. The deck checked. Um, I call this one a little bit better, but the other one actually has a few more parts that this one's actually missing. And no, I'll probably not transfer anything over. Um, it needs the hood repaired. Uh, it needs two bolts put back in at the front. Just help support the hood. This one is missing the headlights. But this one is more complete. And this one will run. Don't know about driving at the moment. But it will run on starting fluid. Also the battery is taking a charge. Okay, the other machine. Cosmetically this one's actually a little bit better than the first one. It has a couple of parts that the other one is missing, but it is missing the grip right there. Also, it's missing the spring that connects the deck to the engagement arm. That's completely missing as well. I'm pretty sure it's a spring. I can't really see it being a cable for how long it is. It's only maybe two and a half inches long. So I'm gonna have to try and track down that part there. I believe the model number is still intact. Yes, it is. So, hopefully I can look up that part and find it. As for the engine, it's cranking over very slow. I can actually demonstrate it. I did do a, uh, will it run on this, I think? I don't really quite remember. But... So you can see it's, it's struggling to turn over. But the carburetor solenoid is firing on actually both machines. So this one here most likely needs a starter. That's my guess as of right now. Or the valves need to be adjusted. I'm hoping it's not the compression release. But I did put my hand over the intake and there was no real change. I've never really heard of the compression release going out on the, the V-Twins. But it definitely is possible. Worst case scenario, this is a parts machine. It's got a nice seat. Back tires are nice. One front tire is nice, but the other front tire, unfortunately, is not holding air. Also, it's a mismatch. The rims on this are white. That one is the off-white. So I might have one in my stash. If I do, good. I'll be putting it back on. Also, this does need the ball joint replaced right there on the front right wheel. I have found one. I just need to order it. So that's not, it's not really too big of a deal. I can get that fixed and I can actually roll the machine around. Also, it will not roll like the other one will. The other one rolls nice. This one, the brake is stuck and it's still stuck on it. Um, we've pulled it. We've pushed it. It will not release. So... This one, yeah. See, one part this one has, the other one's missing. It has its chute cover. Like I said, the other one's missing. It does have its headlights, and it does have its lens cover. And someone actually wrote on the inside here what size the actual mower belt is, which is nice. Uh, this one actually has a little bit different engine. This actually has a later engine. So this one's actually a little bit newer than the other one. I'll show one more thing on the other one in a second that I forgot. But um, this one actually uses four. One here, 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 and here. So it's a little bit different than the other one. And this is actually a little bit later of an engine. Both air filters are actually in reasonably decent condition, surprisingly. So they could actually be reused. This one has well over half a tank of fuel. If I mix it with fresh, we might be okay using it. Or I'll just put it in my Alice Chalmers and use it anyways. Um, I'm thinking it's most likely a plugged fuel filter or just the intake to the carburetor is plugged. I've, I've worked on a lot of these engines in the past. It's kind of common. And as you can see, this one has all of its bolts holding the hood in place. And I put the battery in this. One last thing on this is the running one. Unfortunately, this right here broke. Let me take this off and I'll show you. When I was trying to get this off to um, spray some uh, go-go juice down the carburetor, 
this one was completely seized. And unfortunately, it has snapped the intake. So I do have another cover, but it says 22 or 23 horsepower on it. It will work on here. It won't be a big deal. So I might end up running that top cover. Um, when I say top cover, the entire top cover will have to be replaced with this intake. It won't be too bad to do the intake when the uh, carburetor is apart. So I'll probably end up doing it. Also, it will change the uh, air filter design because the, the other cover I have uses the more rectangular air filter. So there we go. The two machines, a quick overview. Uh, this one is a little bit tougher condition, but... I don't know I know it runs the other one's a little bit nicer in a few ways but currently it does not run so there we go I'll talk to them later please keep it redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment